All right, Andre. Yeah. My engine is bigger than your engine. Wait, what? It's more powerful. It has more torque. I am a more modern vehicle with more gears. And I have all wheel drive, four wheel drive. And we're at a track. Yeah. And we have a Mustang. And this is a really, really quick car. And I know that Roman was curious, and you're curious, yeah. and Tommy was curious, and my dog was curious whether or not this 392 is actually quicker than our old Mustang. And there's only one way to find out, is to do two drag races, a standing one, quarter mile, and also a rolling one, and also do a braking test, because this is what TFL does, and we do it mostly for fun, but I think I will win. It's still gonna be fun, and get ready with your tape measures, because it's gonna be a big one. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah, ah. Well, my friend, I've never expected this, that I would be in one of the most iconic American V8 cars, the Ford Mustang V8 GT, and I would be drag racing a Jeep. Funny part is this is closer to a truck than the Mustang is. That's the funny irony. I mean, this has a frame and solid axles and all that stuff. So really, you should be driving this, but I'm happy you're not. Do you know why? Why is that? Just listen. That's why. How do you like them apples, huh? Oh, it's closer to grapes, but okay, I'm all right with it. How about we get this race going? All right, gentlemen, are you ready? Yep. Morgan and Morgan make finding a lawyer for your injury case easy, fast, and free. If you're injured in an accident and don't know where to start, consider going easy. With Morgan & Morgan, they make it so easy. They have 100 offices nationwide and over 800 local lawyers to take care of your case. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. In eight clicks or less on your phone, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. Share your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records, all from your phone. If you're in an accident, make sure you're okay. Make sure you get a police report. Make sure you contact your insurance company and make sure you get legal representation. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. Eight clicks or less and you're done. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash TFL or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. I think I had you for the first half. Dude, there's no doubt. The way that, that Wrangler took off the line, I was, you know, I'm not gonna say what I was doing, but I was scared. But then I think my aerodynamics and my low weight kind of won out. So my quarter mile was 14.71 at 95.7 miles per hour. I might be able to do a hair better, but um, I don't think very much. Dude, well, we've tested another Wrangler 392, and I think you just got the fastest time we've ever recorded in a Wrangler 392. I recorded 14.43 at 104 miles per hour. So you had a higher top speed, but um, it took you longer to get there. That is remarkably close, my friend. Three tenths approximately difference between us i i'm pleasantly surprised but i won still what do you say we do a rolling race huh
This is American apple pie. This is hot dogs and baseball. This is five liters of displacement, 420 horsepower, 390 pound-feet of torque, a six-speed automatic, and I have cold air induction. It says it right here. Do you want to see the way my engine sucks? <laughs> what? Come over here. Come here. This is the hardest sucking engine in the world. First of all, 475 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque going through an eight-speed automatic transmission feeding every wheel here because it's technically all-wheel drive mixed with four-wheel drive. Ah, you're touching the right places, my friend. So, the way the hood scoop is set up on this is actually really, really cool. It's a trick setup and it sucks in tons of air because it has to because I've got a 392. Ah, and then let's say it's raining. Rainwater actually goes down here and just drops in there and then fries itself on these extraordinarily hot headers. The cool thing about this is that it draws it in and actually works, and it has hydro guide. That's what brings us down here to this. And bup, bup, bup. All right, my friend, your engine gets a lot of air, but my engine vents. I have functional hood vents. Let me show you. Bam, bam, bam. He's got chicken wire and some openings, allowing a little bit of heat to escape, which is great. I've got this, check this out. So one of the other parts of this hydro guide system when it sucks in the air is that it blows through here, allowing these flaps to open, blowing the heat down, getting rid of the heat that's been accumulated. Now, unlike him, look at the bulge. Yeah, I got a proper bulge, I do. As always, during a TFL drag race, we do a standing quarter mile race and then we have a rolling 30 mile an hour start quarter mile race. Speed helps. Speed soothes. Speed makes you feel alive. And it doesn't have to be a fast car either. It's really fun to take what are notoriously slow cars and throw them on a track and just ring them until they can't be rung anymore. I'm just saying. All right. Uh, 30 miles per hour and then go? Yeah. Copy that. All right, my friend, so I have a six-speed automatic. You have an eight-speed. You you have a way more technology in your Jeep than I do in my Ford. So how about that rolling race? Yeah, I'm at a disadvantage, but I want to try it anyway because I love the sweet sound. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get up to 30 miles an hour and then I count down and then we go. All right, let's go. So we are accelerating to 30 miles an hour. I'm at 30. Three, two, one, go. still got me at the end. Dude, the way that thing downshifts and just kind of gets going, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, and I also hit a wall of air. Remember, this thing has the aerodynamic qualities of Roman's face. I want to introduce our unbiased judge. Um, by the way, just, let's keep this clean on camera. Okay, never oh, mind. Uh, no, no. So, uh -huh. what we're gonna do is we're not just doing an exhaust, you know, blast like we normally do because they sound awesome. But I want to get the startup because some of you guys have mentioned in the past that the startup sound of the car is really important with the exhaust note as well. Wouldn't you agree? I think so too. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna fire it up first with Andre's uh, pony, and then we'll go to mine. Yeah.
right, so as far as the exhaust goes, I have to say that Mustang Coyote sounds fantastic. Probably thank one of the best sounding muscle cars out there. Thank you, thank you. But I cannot give it up enough for this 392 because when it fired up, I could not only hear the exhaust note, but I could feel it in my chest. Uh -huh. So I have to give you the win. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I knew that was coming. Look, uh, uh, you know, uh, honestly, had he said, no, no, the Mustang wins, I would have yelled and said, what, that's an aftermarket exhaust. It's not fair. So fortunately, I didn't have to say that on camera. Which you just did. <laughs> it is a Magnaflow <laughs> system. So, so the Mustang, this is not a factory system from 2014. Right. And factory system, I mean, it'd be no comparison whatsoever. But uh, he still wins, even though you got aftermarket yes. exhaust. Sorry, Andre. And of course, it would not be a TFL race without a proper braking test, huh? Yeah, I've got about 2,000 pounds of weight more than you, not to mention the fact that I'm fatter than you. So really 2,000, say 55, 60 pounds more than you uh, easily. No, dude, dude uh, I, I hide my weight pretty well. I'm pretty tall, but you have giant all-terrain tires and I don't. So maybe that will grab, grab the earth. All right, let's go. All right, so we're gonna get up to an even 60 miles an hour together, nose to nose. Come on, catch up, my friend. And when we see the cones, we're gonna put on the binders. A little bit faster, a little bit faster. And go! Ooh, ABS. All right, so we have lovely Brandon to um, handle the stick of truth. I love the fact that you called him lovely. He's like Vanna? <laughs> yes. He's our bearded Vanna. Congratulations. Why, thank you. <laughs> By the way, lovely. magnificent beard. <laughs> thank you, yes. So you did it in a little over 118 feet, Nathan. That's not so bad. Oh, for something that weighs that much, I'd say uh, that's pretty decent performance. This thing really heavy, yeah. Yeah. So I guess Andre did it in about uh, 15 but, feet less. Well, let's find out exactly. Exactly, yeah. But I am surprised still that there's almost just a car length between us. Yes, but see, this is a crowd of innocent people wiped out. No! They're safe over there. Say that. So emergency braking at 60 miles per hour means that you've saved lives. Well, Andre, you stopped in right over a hundred feet. I'd say that's pretty darn good performance. Not too shabby. I mean, these tires are not brand new, these Goodyear Eagles. 18 feet, take that. What do you mean? 18 feet. As I said, you've prevented the death of innocence. <laughs> All right. It was way closer than I ever expected, my friend. Yeah, but I mean, other than me taking the exhaust battle, which I'm not surprised about, you really did take the performance thing. But, but here's the point about that. How close was I to a muscle car? I was pretty close. Insanely close. <clears throat> <laughs> you choked on the same bee <clears throat> that nailed him earlier. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that I cannot take my Mustang on the Rubicon Trail. No. I wouldn't recommend that. No. But you can go there. I can. But how much does your machine cost? A lot. It is ridiculously expensive. It's almost priceless at $95,000 as equipped. I know. Wow. <laughs> so I could buy like almost four 2014 Mustang GTs for that money. Right, right. Uh, I mean, it's the, the, the amount of money for it is ridiculous. It's a rich man's toy, but I gotta tell you, it's a hell of a toy. Well, thanks for joining us. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And remember, alltfl.com is where you can find everything automotive in one place. Hey, Andre, who am I right now? Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> that was the best. It, sorry, see you next time.